Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you see, if you see this video, share it, tag Apostle John C. Suleiman. Yes, the reason why I want to call on Apostle John C. Suleiman is because he is my pastor. And I know what he has done in helping the less privileged, in helping people and showing concern to a lot of people. So please, if you see this video, tag Apostle John Suleiman. Now, as you can see, this is the picture of Ang Sanuku, the picture of Shan George, and of course, the picture of Apostle John Suleiman. Now, some time ago, around last year, I think early last year, there were pictures and video of Ang Sanuku roaming about the streets of Benin. And some people raised concern and they posted it online. Then Sean George came out that time and said, no, 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 it's a movie scene. It's a movie scene. I think as at that time they were shooting a movie. She even did a video showing Ax and Nuku in a movie location. That one passed. Then this time around, another video of him has surfaced in the Philly station, which you are seeing now. <laughs> they gotta know. They stop. They didn't listen to God. Yeah. They stop too strong. I swear to the Lord. But I find, I like. find girl. Oh, She's a fine girl. She's a fine girl. My neighbor did you. To God, when I act, if you no, 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 then you can see that it's not uh, it's not mentally stable in this video and of course as at the time that uh, concern were raised by people that Ansanuku needs a kind of medical attention or something which uh, Shan George debunk Ansanuku did not come outside to make a video officially to debunk it then it does not have a recognized social media handle where he runs. Say, okay, maybe if it is a rumor, you can go to his page or you can go to his page to check his activities. Nothing of such. Not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not on Twitter or whatsoever. And again, this guy has been left in the way that it seems like he has nobody, no friend, no family, no wife, no children. See, let me tell you, Nollywood, 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 that Nollywood industry you are seeing in Nigeria is a very dark place. Take it or leave it. Nollywood is a very dark place. This is the same thing that happened to St. Obi. A long time, nobody heard about St. Obi until he died. Sometime around this year, the news was spreading all over the place. St. Obi, St. Obi, St. Obi. Till tomorrow, some Nollywood actors did not even post about his death. The industry is an industry where they are looking for who to fall so that they can rise. Nollywood is an industry that they are looking for who to go down so that they can promote their own. And every day, a lot of Nollywood actors showcase or flaunt uh, properties that is worth millions. Houses, cars, and all of those things. They go to parties, they do shut down, spray huge amount of money, do a lot of things. Yet, they cannot use that same money to help their colleague. That is why I'm calling on Apostle John Suleiman to intervene in this matter. Please, sir. Like I said before, I am doing this because he is my pastor. I am an Omega child. Yes, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud to say it. And I'm proud to associate with Omega Fire Ministry. Yes, please. Let us Anuku get some kind of medical attention. Everybody cannot just uh, fold their arm and watch this talent waste away just like that. In America, since Paul Walker died, 
those of you who know Fast and Furious, since Paul Walker died, every Fast and Furious movie they do, they always dedicate it to him. That's to tell you the amount of love they have for each other. But Nigeria is not like that. And I'm talking to Shan George. Shan George went now to go and do a video. She she carried on Sanuku go house or somewhere. She did a video telling him what to say. And Sanuku was soliciting for funds that he doesn't need money. He, he, he need money. He need help. Blah blah blah. See the video now. She was even telling him what to say. That's to tell you that she's not even out there to help him. And of course, I think she's even the only one that has showed concern. I think Ansonuku was close to, to, to Zubi Market. I thought he was close to Gentle Jack. I thought he was close to a lot of them. But why is everyone neglecting him at this very terrible moment? Please, Nollywood cannot help Ansonuku. It is just a fact. If they can, they would have done it long time ago. See the case of Mr. Ibuna. He is still there. See the case of Amechi Munaguna. He is still there. Said to be has already died. A lot have died in time past because of negligence and uh, things that can be avoidable. But negligence, negligence on the part of their colleagues. Who is actually your friend in that Nollywood? You will see them on social media chilling together, but when there is trouble, you will not see anybody coming. Don Bramo died the other day. Play, 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 play. These are Nollywood actors who have died in this year. Don Bramo died. Uh, 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 said to be dead. Mr. Ibu is in the hospital. Amechi Munago is in the hospital. So you can see how terrible the industry is. Please, Apostle Yesulema, come to the help of Anks Anuku. Uh, find a way to reach out to him. The reason why I'm calling Apostle Suleiman is because he is my pastor. Now only in what I know as pastor when me, they follow. You understand? So if you want to come for me on the comment section, to say anything you want to say. That is your own business. But I'm calling on my pastor. And I believe when he sees this video. Something can be done.